You probably have seen this really trendy effect by now. And I have to be honest, the first time I saw it, it actually stopped my scroll, stopped me in my tracks, and I thought it was a very, very well executed video. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to create this exact same effect so that you can also jump on the trend. I'll be creating this in After Effects, but know that you can also easily recreate all of these in a different video editing software. As long as that video editing software allows you to do this key component that really needs to be there in order for you to properly execute this effect. In a top-down view, you have to make sure that the split or that Instagram user interface bar is going to go or that separation between posts where that's gonna go, you have to keep that in mind when you recreate this effect top down. I'll be sitting on the couch, walking over here and sitting on this table here and then just start editing on my computer. And this is going to be that black cutout Instagram UA line. Setting up the camera up here, setting up this light over here to bounce over the wall and have that light bounce back over here to show me here. If you choose to go with the top down view, you can get away by just shooting the one scene. What I did for this scene, I made sure that each of the two parts of the same shot were lit just slightly different so it would look just a tiny bit different like as if it was a separate scene. Using this light here to simulate TV with the TV effect. One light here at the back for a little bit of a blue hue. This light right here, because it's more color accurate than the bulb inside this light, I am just going to put up here because it is magnetic. So first we'll create a new composition, we'll name this main video, and this will be a 9 by 16 aspect ratio, so 1080 by 1920. And you can go ahead and find an Instagram user interface graphic on the internet. I found one on freepick.com. We can drag in our Instagram UI into the composition and we have it right here. Before we add in the video clip, I shot my video clip in 4K and this composition is going to be in 1080 by 1920, there's one thing that I have to do before I bring in that clip. So I have here this clip that I have selected and I have the in and out point selected already. What I'll do is drag this to the composition icon and that will create a composition with the exact same parameters as at that video clip. I'm just gonna name it top down clip. So I have the top down clip here and I will select a part where I start to cross that middle frame. So that way I don't have to roto brush the entire thing. So maybe about here. So hit Command or Control and Shift and press D to cut that clip. We'll move forward and maybe about there we'll do the same thing. Let's delete that ending clip. And I'll just extend this clip to the end. Click on the Roto Brush tool, double click on the layer, and start selecting your main subject that you want to cut out. You can hold Option or Alt on your keyboard to subtract from your selection. Let's try to do a better job here. You can go and refine that. Let me refine this and I'll get back to you in a bit. So once you have the selection, press spacebar and it's going to automatically try to track your subject. And I think it's done a pretty good job. So from here, what we'll do is freeze. This is where After Effects is going to just finalize that you're okay with that cutout. We'll back to composition. And if we isolate this layer, you can see that it's been isolated right there. Okay, perfect. I'll go back to the composition where these clips lie here and I'll just change the name to top down clip so I know that's the one I'm working on. Let's go back to the main composition and drag that top down clip composition down here. Hit R to bring in that rotation in, minus 90 to rotate that clip. Tap S for scale, 50%, not 550, 50 
to match the composition. Let's disable the UI. So the shot does not look fully top down. So I'm going to bring this basic 3D effect into this clip. And I'm going to adjust that swivel by let's say two. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And now hit S and scale it up just a tiny bit, 51. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's bring in that Instagram UI back into the, the mix. Go to that top down clip composition, control or command D to duplicate it. And we'll change the name here, clip cutout. We'll go into this composition right here and delete the background so that we only have the cutout and make sure that you don't shift any of the timing here because that's really important. Let's go back to our main composition where the main video is and now we'll bring in that top down clip cutout composition and put that on top of the Instagram UI. So just to have to fix some things. We'll go to scale, copy scale, command and control C and paste it on this one. And also the rotation, which was minus 90. And also we had added a basic 3D effect. So you can hit U to reveal the effects that you've applied or that you've uh, manipulated. So click on basic 3D, command C or control C, go back to this top one and paste that. So everything now is the same and we're almost there. So what I want to do now is cover this top part of the UI. A quick way to do that, just to duplicate this Instagram UI here. Let's change the name to just the top. So I know it's the top. With this selected, go over here and select the rectangle tool and I'll just create a rough mask above this top bar of the Instagram UI. Now that we have that, we'll bring that over the cutout. And now we can see that I don't go over the top bar of that Instagram UI, only the middle. You can easily do this with any other video editing software as long as you're able to cut out your subject in motion. Next, we're going to create one more thing to make this just a little bit more realistic. On the top down cutout clip, Command or Control D to duplicate that. And we'll go to that bottom one. And what we'll do is at an effect called CC slant and add it onto that bottom clip. This is going to create a shadow. And I do not want that shadow to start right here because the shadow here, it's organic from the actual scene. So I want that to start roughly about here. So let's cut that clip so we know what we're working with. And I want that twin roughly there. So this is going to be my shadow that I'm going to add. So with the CC slant effect, we're going to create a keyframe for floor. Select my foot right here at the very beginning. Let's deselect stretching. And so roughly let's try minus 40 and height will reduce that to like 65 or something like that. And you don't see anything yet because this was shot top down. So CC slant, it's a little bit confused. So we'll go to rotation. So enable R and we'll rotate that slant now over here. Select that over there. Set color here and let's change that color to like a, a dark gray. And now we're going to tap T for opacity. Let's reduce that to like a 20%. So you can see that this starts to shift. So what we're going to do is just keyframe that floor. Click on this button here and select the floor right there so that it sort of follows us. Go there and the foot was roughly there. And over here, the floor is still here. So the shadow needs to move away from there. So what we're going to do now is also add in another effect, Gaussian blur to the shadow and it will blur it to like 30 or something like that. Uh, yeah, 35. Now going back to that shadow, we'll make keyframes for opacity. I don't need that shadow to start yet right there. 
I want it to start roughly right there. So about here, let's see, will that be zero? Once we get to roughly here, I want that shadow to be about 15 or 10, just ever so subtle because that scene, the shadows that I get in my scene are subtle too. So super subtle there, right over here, we'll select another keyframe and we'll go back to zero over here. And this is what we get. Can't wait to see what you create. So please tag me on Instagram so I can check out your work. And that's it for today's video. And if you're still around, here are a couple more videos you could watch next and I'll see you there.